Hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing my top 11 pro products of 2011 and um, I looked online uh, at what the like typical kind of making up of this tag was and it was like two face, two lips, two nails, two hair but um, I don't know I have too many particular makeup products that I want to say so if I had to do two lips, two nails, blah 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 um, I wouldn't be able to show you my actual favourite products because nails, as you can see, might I need doing but I use different ones all the time, I don't have any favourites um, Same with lipstick, I use so many different lipsticks I actually don't, I only have one lipstick in here and you should see my lipstick collection, it's just insane so um, that just shows how much I like using loads of different ones I don't have particular favourites um, As you saw, I just dropped this in This is a cheeky iPad um, my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas, same as um, Pixie 2 Woo, which is kind of creepy, but I love this uh, case as well, I, I bought this, it was £20 from Curry's, and it's pink, and it's really soft to the touch, and it covers your camera and keeps it shut, and this is definitely going to be the best gadget of 2012 for me, I just love the iPad, oh my god, like, I don't know how I lived without it, now I have it, but they are just amazing. This is the white one as well. And um, this is a picture of my pussycat. And they're just, they're just incredible. Like, they're just amazing things. Like, you, they, seriously, you don't need a laptop with it unless you have, like, schoolwork to do and stuff. They're just amazing. So, this is the best product that ended my 2011. But now on to the makeup products of 2011. So, I have, right, I have a foundation, a bronzer, concealer, eyebrow stuff, eyeliners, mascara, lipstick, uh, powders and palette. So, let's get to showing you. I also have um, this Yankee Candle, my f our first ever one, it's like a family one because uh, my brother's girlfriend bought it for my mum I guess, but I'm burning this in my room, it's orchid pe Orchard Pear. It doesn't smell of that much when it's burning but it's really sweet, it's lovely. Anyway, on to the actual point of this video. Um, this is going to go in no order, I'm just going to grab it and show it to you. So first thing I'm wearing today, um, I just got a replacement. So also, because it's 2011 and now it's just started 2012, obviously I'm going to probably show you things I got halfway through and onwards because my tastes have changed from the beginning to the end. So lots of these things I've had for ages though, like this for example I've had for about six months. Um, this is the new one I just bought, but this is Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, it's in my... I have a review of it, I have a um, um, makeup, sorry, foundation routine using this. So, those things I'll link here and here. And yeah, I have used this for a very long time, I love it, it's just so amazing. I just, it's just the best foundation ever. Um, it's expensive, it's £26. But what are you going to do? My colour is um, 2 and 2 Fresco. Let's see if I can... It'd be cool if I had a remote control with this. There you go. Anyway, back to yeah. Yeah, so this is my favourite foundation of the whole entire year. Um, next thing I'll show you is a concealer. I love this so much that I have completely used it up and Oh, apart from a little bit left of one of them. But this is the Laura Mercier um, cover pot. I've <laughs> cheekily included this as one product, even though it technically is two, because this is, um, what's it called? Secret Camouflage Concealer. Well, one of them Secret Camouflage, one of them Secret Concealer. So one's for under the eyes, and one's for on spots and blemishes. And it's just the best concealer ever. I use the MAC Studio Finish now, which I love, but this is the best. And this has a little powder in it as well, but these concealers, they're the best. Especially for blemishes, and the under the eye one is just amazing. Um, next, this, I've only had this for a couple of months, but I know I'm going to be using it for a very long time. I've literally used it every day since I bought it. Um, this is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Ash. So it's quite light, I love the packaging as well. Um, this is in my recent video. I can't use this powder, but purely because of this waxy gel, I just love it. It's amazing. So um, it just makes your eyebrows look perfect, look really natural, 
that's the main thing, they make them look so natural, whereas sometimes with a pencil they can look a bit drawn in, because they are. Um, but I love this. Obviously I love everything. Um, next is my MAC Min uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium. This is my second one of these, so I got my first one like in 2010 I think, so this really is a loved product. You can see that it hasn't got the dome shape anymore. It's just an amazing powder. If you want, you can just use the powder with a like primer and then powder your face and it can give you a really good finish if you use a kabuki brush. Um, you can just use it to just finish your skin. It's just amazing. In fact, I feel a little bit shiny at the moment, so I'm gonna pop some on. Um, you can just tap a tiny amount on the brush. And then I just tap small amounts on. Because with my last one, I used it up really quickly because I did use it for um, foundation sometimes. But it just mats out your skin without looking fake or anything. It's just, I just love it. It's amazing. So this is definitely the best powder. It might even be in my 2010 favourites. I'm not sure. I'll link that um, in the below bar because you probably don't want to watch it, but in case you do, I have some weird Austin Powers sound effects coming in when I introduce each each um, product, which is kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> um, next thing. There's actually three products in this, but there's only one that I am kind of saying is a favorite. This is the Wonder Woman Pink Power um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I've spoken about this many times, but this highlighter here is just my absolute favorite. Um, I like the blush as well, you can see I've used quite a lot of it. And the bronzer is quite hard to get to, but I do like the bronzer as well. But this highlight, I just don't even want to waste it, it's that amazing. It's just so perfect. And the thing about it is there's no glitter in it, so it's just pure shimmer, which makes it look really natural for a highlight. So it just, just makes your skin look glowing and radiant and there's a kettle boiling downstairs. Anyone going to turn that off? Uh, seems not. Let's wait. <laughs> there we go. It's going down. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh god, so many things, so many things. I just edited the video that's going to be either before this one or after this one. And finished editing it and bam! Windows Movie Maker shuts down lose everything. Anyway, yeah, this. Um, that is limited edition which does suck but still I'm just telling you my favourites. Um, Benefit Hula Bronzer, uh, you know I love it. It's hip pan and it's just amazing. Use it to contour my face every single day without fail and this has lasted me about six months considering I use it every day and still I actually have loads of product in there you can see in the corners. So this it's amazing how long it lasts you, but I guess you don't need loads because you only want to contour your face gently. I'm not like a full-on bronzer kind of gal. Um, next, ooh, this mascara I have only had for about two months, but um, I love mascaras because I have quite long eyelashes. They I kind of work with most mascaras, and this camera is so weird. I'm talking and it's monitoring how much I'm smiling. I'm currently on 100% smile. I'm on 42% smile. Anyway, it's distracting me. Um, this is the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. I'll zoom in so you can see the um, wand because, but I'm sure you've seen it before, but oh well, Ali's gonna show you too. There you go, it's quite spiky and plasticky with a little bauble on the end. And it just gets every single eyelash. Um, I've used it today. This is the makeup tutorial, by the way. You can see it here, ooh, if you want. Um, yeah, it's just a me having fun, just putting some pigments on. Yes, yeah, so I love this mascara. It's probably gonna be my favorite for a long time, but it's so expensive, it's 18 pounds 50, and, um, but I got it for 13 50, because I had a five pound off thing with Debenhams, because I had loads of points. But it is expensive. Um, Next thing is Eye Bright. Um, it's, you can see I've used a lot of it. I've had this for ages. Got it free with Glamour. Um, it's a, from Benefit again. 
and um, oh, there's quite a few Benefit things in here, I love Benefit. It's basically a light pinky eyeliner, I've used it today. You can put it um, on your skin, on your bottom, down here, just before you put your concealer on if you want. Or you can use it like this. Or you can use it to just like highlight up here, it's just amazing, it's really um, got loads of uses and I use it pretty much every day. Love it. It's just really nice. It doesn't irritate my eyes at all. You then I've got really easily irritated eyes. Um, next thing is kind of drying up. I need to buy another one. I've had like four of these, I'd say. This is the L'Oreal Superliner Carbon Gloss. You know this bad boy. Um, with the nice kind of slightly thick felt tip that draws a really nice line. I love this stuff. I haven't used it today. I use gel liner, but I use this most of the time. Um, and then another Benefit product, this is Ladies Choice Lipstick. So like I said, I have loads of lipsticks, but I can never choose which ones I want to use. So I didn't want to make a favourite because there's not one that I use more than any of the others. Say I have like 10 that I really like. But I really love this lipstick because it's unlike any of the others. I now have another one of it, or in a different colour. But this lipstick is nothing like any MAC lipstick I own just nothing and it's called Ladies Choice and it's quite a nice nude. It's been <laughs> demolished, you can see the t it's actually fallen off and I've had to stick it back together. Um, but it's just so f thick and creamy. I just love it, absolutely love it. And the new one I bought is Shy and it's like this and it's just like a pinky version of like this is Ladies' Choice and it's quite nude, whereas this is Shy and it's quite pink. And they're just so full coverage, which is what they're called. And uh, really thick and glossy and lovely. I have something in my eye. So my eyelashes are poking me in the eye. So in the other um, top 11 products of 2011, there has to be a palette. And regardless of whether there had to be a palette or not, because this is kind of my own uh, tag going on, I'm not following any guidelines, um, I would have definitely had to include the Naked palette by Urban Decay because everyone's including it. But there's so many different palettes out there and they all kind of try and have um, more out there colours which is great but because this, color, because this palette is just purely colours that everyone would happily wear it means that everyone loves it and although I love other palettes I don't use them as much because they're not all everyday wearable colours and they're not as easy to just slap on and blend and make look good. Whereas this palette is just wonderful and I really want to get the Naked 2 palette as soon as it comes into the UK. But there's other palettes by Heaven Decay, for example, uh, the Ammo palette I think it is, which I love. Oh, and there's an earring in it. <laughs> which I love, but these colours aren't everyday colours. And even though I do use them, I don't use them every day, so it wouldn't be able to get into my, you know, everyday kind of top 2011 products. So the Naked palette is just, it's just amazing. If you don't have it, seriously, I recommend it. Um, I have a video on, I'm gonna have so many videos I'm making. Um, not comparing, but giving you, showing you the Naked palette and the Sleek Natural palette. Bet you I can't find that bloody Sleek one there. There it is. Yeah, comparing the uh, Urban Decay one and the Sleek one. Obviously, if you don't have enough money for the Urban Decay one, then you can't get it. So a good alternative is um, the Sleek. This is a, if in your in your if you are in the UK. I think you can order online though. And um, this is the Sleek O Natural palette. And this is a good uh, kind of comparative product. Like it's, it's it makes up for it. It's not as good. I would never say it's as good but it is good, so if you really um, can't get hold of this or can't afford it, then go for this because it's only £6.50 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I just love this palette. The colours are just incredible. Um, I think I've used this one the most, these two. Can you see the dents? Because they're, and this one actually, got to look at the dent in that. Just because, they're all, like I said, they're just everyday easy colours. These are the first four going that way. So Virgin, Sin, Naked, and Sidecar. This is literally me just going, swiping up and then down. And then um, Buck, Half Baked, Smog, and Dark Horse. You can see how pigmented the dark colours are. Well, they're all pigmented, but you know, particularly the dark ones. And then oh, 
whoa. Toasted and Hustle feel like velvet, literally. Um, God, they're so pigmented. Uh, this is Toasted, Hustle, um, Creep and Gunmetal. So you can see they're just amazing colours. You can use them every day if you want. And also what's brilliant about this palette is it's not just an everyday palette because I took it away this weekend knowing that I was going out for New Year's Eve and I did my makeup dramatically, like nighttime makeup, just using this palette. So you can do anything with it. By the way, if you want to see a nighttime look using the Naked palette, then just ask me and I'll do it. Um, yeah, so that's my top 11 products of 2011. I hope you enjoyed. Obviously, there's so many products I love, but I, I can only tell you 11 of them. So these are literally, I couldn't live, well, I could live without them, couldn't I? But my life is a lot happier with these products in them. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Uh,